Did he say 25%? Yeah, 25. What's up, guys? So I wanted to make a fire mage guide for this tier. Um, the big problem with fire right now is unless you have really, really, really high-end gear, it's just not very good. Um, that's that's just the way it is. Frost right now is outperforming. Um, Arcane right now is outperforming. That being said, I do think fire is in a good place. And I honestly think once the gear gets higher, um, and I'll explain that when I get into stat priority, uh, I think it's actually going to overtake everything. Because as long as there's any type of fights with an ad and it's not just purely single target, I really think that you're going to see fire do absolutely incredible damage just because of the overall versatility of the spec. <clears throat> so... First thing that we want to go over, obviously, is let's go over talents real quick. Um, right now, Ice Flows, Blazing Speed, Evanescence, all of them have their, you know, they're good and they're bad, right? The, the thing with Fire is because we have Scorch, do we really need Ice Flows? Um, and it comes down to it's nice to have it as a safety net in case you're really trying to, like, line up your burst properly. Um, if you're running and trying to cast, you know, your AoEs or anything like that, you know, especially for things because Flame Strike has a... You know it has a cast time um ice flows can be really really nice for that type of thing when you do have a lot of movement in a fight and you don't really want to just be casting scorch the whole time right that being said though for most single target fights you don't really need ice flows um blazing speed again can get you from a to b very very quickly um you can still be casting scorch while using blazing speed and between that and blink your movement is obviously awesome so um 15 row of talents is not a huge deal. I, either way you go, kind of depends on the fight. Level 30, again, Ice Barrier, I just don't think there's anything that comes close to it. Ice Barrier for PvE purposes is by far uh, one of the best that you're going to have. Um, level 45, again, this is PvP, so don't worry about it. Level 60, again, fight by fight basis. Do you need a big damage reduction? Do you need cauterize for anything? Um, or do you need like a double ice block? Those are pretty much up to you, right? So I typically take cauterize um, unless there's a specific thing that I need to negate and that my class is taking a part of. So just keep that in mind. That's what I do. Um, level 75, again, living bomb. I just like having living bomb. I like having the dot. I like having the um, explosion at the end. Okay, it just, it works for me. I enjoy living bomb. So I typically will always use that. Um, again, unstable magic. I just, until we get into super high levels, I just don't see the benefit of it, especially because Living Bomb, you can cast on the move. There's obviously no cast time and things like that. So I tend to stay away from Unstable Magic pretty much no matter what spec I'm playing. Um, Blast Wave, again, very, very cool, um, you know, for certain situations. But for the most part, again, it's really up to you between this and Living Bomb, how you want to play it. Uh, Blast Wave does have a lot of places for itself, so like on fights where there's tons of ads and you need to just do nuke damage, um, there is a lot of possibility for Blast Wave to be very good. But like I said, for me, I just prefer Living Bomb. Um, again, you can tell me one way or the other. This is just my personal preference. Uh, as well as a level 90 talents, um, for fire, Mirror Images is always strong. It really is. Because of the short cooldown, because of how long that they're up, Mirror Images is just a quick set it, forget it, DPS burst, right? Like, you do get an added bonus of DPS from Mirror Images. So, it is really up to you how you want to use that. Um, Rune of Power, again, because we have things like Scorch, um, if you can stay in the same place, good for you. Rune of Power is great. Otherwise, lining up a nice Encanter's Flow, um, anything three, four, five stacks, um, you're really going to see a nice, nice burst of damage on your combustions, on your AoEs, anything like that. Um, the real problem with Encantress Flow is making sure that it lines up with everything else, especially because Fire already has some high RNG. But that being said, um, it is usable on a lot of fights. You just have to make sure that you're constantly aware of it. So having a weak aura or a tell me when for it, so you constantly know where your stacks are, so you can line up your cooldowns, line up your trinkets properly to get the best you know combustion off that you can is going to be key here. Um, and then level 100 talents. I honestly think kindling is the reason that fire is going to be good. And here's why I say that. So right now it pretty much goes crit, mastery, and then haste and multi or equal, right? That's kind of the stat port priority currently in the game. Now, the problem is, is I honestly think that haste is going to outdo multi strike. I really do. And kindling is the reason why, because there's no fight where kindling isn't overpowered. The more combustions you can get off, the better. And Again, it's every crit. So the more haste that you have, the more crit possibilities you have, the quicker you can get combustion off cooldown. Now, that being said, you're going to have to time out fights, see if there's a fight where you can get that extra combustion or a fight where you're not going to get that extra combustion. 
Um, obviously, it kind of comes down to that. But again, the only other time where I would see using Meteor is that huge burst AoE um, where you really need a ton of AoE damage. But again, you have to remember, if you save your combustion right, combustion is going to do far more damage than Meteor. You just have to line it up properly. So um, to me, though, Kindling, especially as gear goes on, um, Kindling is just overpowered. It really is. It is absolutely incredibly overpowered because the more gear you get, the faster your cast speed, the more crits you're getting, um, this is just going to become better and better and better and better and better. Um, I really honestly think Kindling is one of the most overpowered talents in the game. The problem is we just don't have the gear levels right now to really cheese this mechanic. But we will soon, don't you worry. Um, and obviously as we get more gear, um, as I get back into high-end rating and get those higher gear levels for you guys, I will update guides um, accordingly. But glyph-wise, I think combustion, especially with kindling, is just too good to not take. Um, I love having the glyph of combustion. I think it's just overpowered as shit. Obviously, for what it does, it is incredible. Uh, Inferno Blast, any fight with an ad. This is amazing, okay? Um, it just really is. Um, and then Dragon's Breath, this is the one that I run with a lot. Anything where there's, again, there's two ads or multiple ads, this does a ton of damage. If you're obviously not using that, you know, you can use other abilities. So, um, you know, things, and it's really up to you. Rapid Displacement's obviously very good. Um, Remove Curse has its benefits on certain fights. But for the most part, um, it's really up to you how you want to use the glyphs. There's not really a whole lot of great glyphs as far as it goes. Miners are completely irrelevant, minus momentum, again, as every other guide would tell you. So... Um, rotation wise, what we really want is we just want to make sure our dots are up on everything, right? So for me, um, you know, if there's a countdown or anything going on, I typically am going to cast, and I'm just going to do this for you. So Pyro is first off, three, two, one, boom. So I want that big meaty fireball so I can get my Pyromaniac's debuff up. I want to get everything going. Um, once I have this, I'm popping that, popping that. All right, so I've got two, plus I've got my Berserking. So I'm going to spread that combustion to both. And remember, as long as you're putting your dot back up um, any time with three seconds or less on that living bomb, you're going to get the benefit out of it. So keep that in mind. Um, and now the other cool thing with Combustion is it resets the uh, Inferno Blast timer. So you can automatically spread that big Combustion onto pretty much anything you want. So watch this. Bam. There's my big explosion. Just like that. So this is ultimately what I'm going for. And then after this, you're pretty much just casting Fireball, waiting to get that heating up and Pyroblast proc, um, and then keeping your dot up time up. So there's not a whole lot to do in the meantime. Again, if you have to move, it becomes just a matter of scorching, and that's really all you're doing. If you really need to move, you can get a bunch of Pyroblast off. Awesome. Um, once we get into our tier sets, you'll find out a little bit more of what we can actually do. Um, so just be aware of that, that this is pretty much the base rotation. Now, obviously... Um, you know, Flame Strike and Glyph Dragon's Breath are going to be your go-to AOEs as well as keeping your dot up and making sure that you're spreading those to as many things as possible. It just Now look, already my combustion is back off cooldown. This is how powerful that this thing is, right? So um, combustion is just up all the time. And like I said, the more combustions you get up, the better you're going to do. So it's almost 30 seconds before my trinket timer, which is on the same timer as old combustion would be. So, I mean, look at all the combustions that I'm getting extra just because of that kindling. And I have terrible gear, guys. Right now, um, just to show you, I'm at 645 item level. I have literally terrible gear. Um, is it maximized for my spec quite a bit? Kind of, I guess you could say. Um, but for the most part, it's not that great, right? Um, I'm using things that I need to be using a little bit better. But other than that, guys, this is really what's going on. So um, the only thing left that I would tell you is enchanting-wise, food-wise, everything. You want crit. Crit, 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 crit. The more crit you get, the more crits you have. And obviously, your weapon enchant, you want the crit one that extends with crit. Because the more crits you get, the longer it extends. This is, again, why I think haste will overtake multi-strike down in the higher ends. is because the more you can keep that crit buff up, the higher crits you get, the higher combustions you get. It's just GG. So I think you literally... you're your, um, what is it, your fucking stat priority, right? Uh, you're going to obviously have int first, then crit, then mastery, and then haste. And I honestly think haste and mastery are not that far apart. Mastery is obviously very, very good. Um, it is a little bit above haste, but I think it is 
mastery, then haste, and then multi-strike. Obviously versatility doesn't do a whole lot for us. We don't really care about versatility as a fire mage. We want more crits, we want better crits, and we want faster cast time as well as those meteor um, combustions. So that's why mastery and haste outperform both of those. So that's kind of the base guide, guys. Um, obviously for your rotation, you know, keeping your dot up if you have one, um, keeping up that pyroblast and heating up proc, as well as learning how to cast and then bank those is obviously very important. That has not changed since, you know, um, Siege of Orgrimmar, that is still the exact same. The only real things that you have to play with are your cooldowns, keeping track of things like Encanter's Flow, um, and again, if you're using the correct weapon enchant, keeping track of that crit um, and any trinkets that you might have and trying to line all that stuff up. So obviously when the god stars align, um, you do tons of damage, but right now fire, especially at my gear level, is very, very lackluster. Um, but I can really see where down the road it is going to be absolutely incredible. Um, and I think that the more gear that we get, you're going to see fire just absolutely shoot up the meter. So just be aware of that, guys. Kind of pre-planning you for future events. Hope you guys like this one. And as always, see you in the next one.